Hi everybody, this is Oleg. Welcome to Oregon Preparedness. By now, most of you probably heard of $15 an hour minimum wage. And you know, every time I hear such things, it really raises the red flag for me. You know, every time they every time they raise minimum wage at least that's the story in Oregon I'm sure it's the same story everywhere every time gas goes up food prices significantly also go up I remember back not that long ago um, back 15 years ago you would spend hundred dollars and you would have a cart full of groceries now you spend hundred bucks and uh, it's gonna, um, it's nothing, it's just something on the bottom of your card. You go to Costco, it's easy to spend four or even five hundred dollars where you used to be able to buy card full for giant card full of goodies at Costco. And you know, uh, most people, of course, they just go their way and buy what they need for today or the next few days. But uh, and no one really thinking about it. And those that do, many of them just think, oh, it's probably going to be okay. And um, I think this is the biggest red flag for food to spike up in prices. So I'll say this, you know, don't wait and get long-term storage food right now before it goes up. While you can still afford it, because there might be a time, and that time might be soon, where you would go and pay $5 for a bottle of water, or $20 for a ham sandwich, things like that. You know, I, I'd say don't waste any time and start preparing now with everything, but especially food. Because they also talk about gas shortages. I would recommend putting gas away as well. I, uh, I store gasoline and I tested it personally, you know, with, uh, with a special additive. To store gas, uh, you, I, th they claim that gas is good for one year. I personally kept it there for over two years, and I put it in my Prius, and it was running fine, just like I went to a regular gas station. So, highly recommend storing gas. You know, you can store for the rest of your life, but if you store you know, 25, 30 gallons of gas, number one, you'll have gas for your generator. Number two, you'll have gas for an emergency. Let's say something really bad happens that I wish doesn't happen to none of us, and you need to run to an emergency room, and your car is low on gas. What are you going to do? And you live 10 15 minutes away, 15 miles away from the hospital. By the time you get to emergency room on your foot, you've, maybe you'll die. Maybe your loved one needs uh, emergency room. Who knows? So I'd say store some gas, not to use that gas to go to and from work, but for true emergency, like going to the hospital. Or you're going to go meet somebody and trade with them some of your goods for food or some other goods or you know any any other emergency related stuff plus your generator okay thanks for watching everybody please get prepared even more so things are not likely to get better you know we will be lucky if they stay status quo more than likely, they're going to get worse. 
So give this video a thumbs up, please uh, share it if you find it useful. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next upload.